Can you just talk about courage, what you think about courage, where does it come from, what is it? Yeah, well, you know, I, uh, <clears throat> it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting question. I've actually never had that question or Good. thought a ton Good. about yeah. it. Um, but, you know, I think the source of courage for me has, has been in looking outside myself. But I think courage for a lot of people comes when you think about what you're trying to do as part of a larger organization. So in the military, you know, I don't necessarily think about courage. You think about doing what you need to do to get the people that are with you home safely. I think higher ed institutions in general face significant challenges today. As we navigate these, personally, I um, may get beat up a little bit. And I find I can face into that as long as I can look myself in the mirror and say, I'm doing everything I possibly can to make this incredibly important institution as successful as it can be. We're not just here to shape people to, um, to fill jobs. And that, that's an important function of this university, but we're also here to help people have fulfilling and interesting lives as engaged, thoughtful citizens in our community. This is a, a form of service that I think is incredibly important, not just for this city, not just for this community, for this state, but for this country. And that is providing a world-class, high-quality education that is accessible to people from different starting points, from all walks of life. Not an elite education for the select few, but an elite education that is accessible to people from different starting points. And that is critical not just to this city or this community, that's critical to the, the future of this country. We shape the lives of those who will change the world. And we have to get this right.